Hello everybody and welcome back to Sunday Open Studio Online. Have you ever noticed how most of our drawings and paintings are made in rectangles or in squares? Have you ever done any of your artwork in a circle before? Today, the theme of our Sunday Open Studio is circles. Circles within circles. And what we're going to be doing is tracing big circles onto paper tracing smaller circles inside of the big circles and making spaces that we can color in and have fun with colors. She can probably guess how we're going to do it, but I'll just go through the steps that I use and set you off to make your own. What you'll need today, let me just pop those down there, is some paper, any size, I'm going to use just a normal size piece of uh, computer paper here, but I have used bigger pieces, I have used smaller pieces to do this. You want to get something to trace that's just about as big as your piece of paper. And then you want to get lots of other circles that you could use to trace as well. Now I have taken my circles from my kitchen, from my sewing studio, And from my, oh, that's another sewing, from my craft room. You can see what you have around the house to make your circles with and join me back here. So you can see here my plate is just slightly bigger than my paper, but that doesn't matter because when I cut it out afterwards, I can make it all fit nicely. So I like to hold it down, trace around it, A nice sharp pencil. You can also trace around it with a pen right away if you're sure what you want to do. I sometimes like to do pencils first so that I can see what I'm making. And there my circle fills up a whole page from side to side or in this case top to bottom. And then anything goes. You can start from the outside. You can start from the middle. I find the middles are sometimes hard to find because we haven't used a compass. By the way, if you have a compass at home, you could make your big circle and all your small circles with a compass, couldn't you? So I find that by starting from the outside, I can slowly work my way around to find the middle. And I sometimes like to overlap my circles a bit. Things may not be 100% even, but by the time this is colored in, nobody will notice. I find that by overlapping my circles, I get some other shapes in there, which are really fun to play with later. I also like to vary the sizes of the circles that I use, use big ones and small ones, because that adds a little bit more interest to my page. One of the interesting things that happens for me as I work with all these circles and figure out where they go and put them down on the page and color them in is that if I've been feeling set or tired or kind of cranky, just the act of drawing the circles can help calm me down and make me feel a whole lot better. So not only is it fun to do, it can also be very, very relaxing. Now I could probably keep going with this and I could put more circles in here. I could find maybe some smaller circles to put in those spaces. I could finish off my row of circles that I had here, my circle of circles rather than a row of circles. But I think that gives you a general idea. So after I'm done drawing my pencil circles, what I like to do is go back over them with markers, sometimes with colored pencils, sometimes with crayons, color in all the spaces and make the whole thing colored. And then I cut out my circle at the end so that I have 
a circle picture full of circles. What I'm going to do is leave you here. I'm going to go and color mine and I'm going to put up a bunch of examples of other circles within circles artwork that I've made and that other people have made and have given to me. And that should hopefully give you a bunch of ideas of what you could do as you create your own circles within circles artwork. Have a great week, everybody. And we'll see you again next week for a different Sunday Open Studio activity. Goodbye.